All right, guys. In this video, we are going to take a look at the M3 money supply or M3 money stock slash M3 currency. We will be taking a look at what it is as well as the different types of M3 money and how M3 relates to M2 and M1. So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get started right away here. So first of all, real quick, we need to take a look at what is money supply. Money supply is basically the amount of money in an economy. But what is the M3 money supply? Well, well, the M3 money supply includes everything in M2 as well as assets that are less liquid than the M2 and M1 components and I actually have a video about the M2 money supply and the M1 money supply. I will link both videos up in the eye in the corner and I actually recommend watching these two before you continue watching this one. But so M3 includes M M2 and M1 as well as assets that are less liquid. And what is liquid? Well, we can think of liquidity as how easy an asset can be converted into ready cash. So how fast and easy we actually can use the money to pay for stuff. So now let's take a look at how M3, M2 and M1 are related to each other. All right, so if this whole circle right here is the M3 money supply, then the M2 money supply so this purple circle right here is a part of m3 and m1 is a part of m2 so m3 includes both m2 and m1 and m2 includes m1 but what are the new stuff for the m3 here so the types of m3 money that we don't have in m2 and m1 well, the M3 money includes, first of all, large time deposits. It's basically deposits where the money must remain in the account for a certain time in order to earn the agreed interest on the money. We also have, for example, institutional money market funds. We can think of these as funds for the big players, hedge funds, insurance companies, pension funds, and so on and so on. And when we are talking about so big amounts of money, the money usually moves a bit slower. We also include something called short term repurchase agreements. And I think that one needs a video on its own. So I'm not going to go into that one a lot. And we can also include a category called other larger liquid assets. So this is basically the different types of M3 money that that we don't find in the M2 or M1. But yeah guys, I think that's pretty much it for this short video. I really hope you got some kind of value out of this one. If you did, please consider dropping a like. And if you guys wanna see more, don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I hope you guys have a great, great day and I will hopefully catch you in the next video. But for now, take care, ciao, ciao.